Hello everyone, this is a new video to explain how to flash the firmware inside the LITA carry board. I printed the multipurpose LITA case that is possible to download from our GitHub. It's a custom cabinet where it's possible to handle wear with up to four cameras. This special case designed for our LITA carry board has functionality for different cases of use. Well, the first step is to download the operating system required to flash the system with the SDK Manager application. I assume you all know how to do it, but just remember this step to have the complete process. I have the LITA carry board connected with my computer via the USB connector. On the SDK Manager, choose the version of your JSON module. In this case today, I need to select my JSON Nano Developer version. Confirm with OK. In hardware configuration, unselect host machine. It is it's very important to connect the Jetpack version with the correct version of your firmware. In this case, we are using Jetpack 4.5.1. And then click on Continue. I have already downloaded all the system files to save time. Remember this step. Disconnect the USB from our carrier board to our computer. Click on Continue. Write the administrative password on our main computer. And after to download all the system on this screen, this screen that is, a, is to flash the system, we need to click Skip and finish and exit. And the installation is complete. Now, we need to reconnect our computer to the LITA carrier board with the USB connector. Remember to check that it is correctly connected. Using the command lsusb, if NVIDIA Corp appears, it means that the system is connected properly. The next steps are, first, go to NVIDIA SDK, where the SDK manager was downloaded. And we need to select the correct option for our JSON module version. In this case, it's the Linux JSON Nano Developer Kit. I have the leading notes. On this point, we can download it. Now we can download in this folder the firmware using wget. After downloading the firmware, we need to uncompress using the command tar. Uncompress the firmware and the system will be uncompressing directly in the correct place. Linux Fox for Tegra. After that, we need to put CD Linux for Tegra. And finally, depending on the system we have, we can flash. Okay, now identify these two buttons in our LITA carry board. The first one is the recovery button and the second one is the reset button. We have to push both buttons. First, the reset button and after the recovery button. With this procedure, we are ready to flash the system. First, we can check with LS USB if NVIDIA Corp appear. This means that the system is ready to be flashed. Because we are working with the developer version module, we need to use the option, but on the LITA carry board webpage, you have all the options for each module developer and production. NVIDIA Nano, Xavier, JSON Xavier NX, and TH2 NX. Finally, tap Enter to Flash. Write the password of the Ubuntu computer, and the procedure to flash the system will be ready. We need to wait around 20 minutes for the process to be completed. OK, after the flash process on the screen connected to the LITA, we will have the Ubuntu system configuration. Follow the instruction to select the language of the system, the keyboard layout, and this is the standard methodology to configure with the JSON board. In our case, today I select LITA, the name of our carry board. This Nano is a Nano developer version. Select the computer name that you prefer. Indicate the app 
partition size we want. We can give some space to create the swap partition. We, my recommendation is, for example, in this case, where the maximum accepted for the system is uh, 29,830 to choose 27,000 to keep between 2,000 3,000 megabytes for the swap space. The next step is to select the quantity of, the, of core that we want to use on the power. In this case, the JSON Nano gave two options, two cores or four cores. And finally, we need to wait some minutes to finish the configuration. This is the last step. Apply the change in the configuration settings. We can see the details of what is good on the system. Then the system restart and finally we have the system working. Well, the next video will be to show how the full camera works with Litacore board. In the description, you can find the link to the Lita GitHub repository. See you next time. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you.